it's the coach, and you're tuned in to Madden 19 on EA Sports. We're just about set to get started, and this ought to be a good one between the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Arizona Cardinals. With that, let's get out to the desert. Standing by in Glendale, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. So this was the scene a moment ago. The Cardinals emerging from their tunnel, and we are ready for football as the cards get set to match up with the Pittsburgh Steelers. And hi again, everybody. Alongside my partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. And Charles, when you and I were going through our final run-throughs at breakfast, we kept thinking tonight we're going to get to see a couple of very good passing offenses. And we're talking about both sides having multiple receivers that could have an impact on this game. It's not just one guy that's going to make all the plays. If you take him away, maybe number two, number three, they make the big plays that impact who wins the game. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. So the Steelers' offense getting set for their first drive. Their 36-year-old quarterback brings him out there. He'll be calling the shots in his 15th season now. It's Ben Roethlisberger. And when you just sit and look at the raw numbers... You actually kick back and nod in appreciation about the career Ben Roethlisberger has had. Went over 50,000 passing yards last year, eighth all time. But what he wants more than anything, one more run to the Super Bowl where he's won twice previously. Now a carry for the former Michigan State man, Le'Veon Bell. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Again, it's Bell. And it work his way across the 30 to the 32. Seven yards on the carry. Make it third and four coming up. Now Roethlisberger. Oh, he almost picked it. Nearly a turnover there on their opening drive. And that's a throw he'd like to have back. Now fourth down. And third down is a key down in any game you play. And third down defense, something we've got to... And look here, it's an opening drive fake. And this is caught. A big breakdown defensively there on the fake punt. Turns into a huge play and a first down. Well, you want to talk about catching the defense off guard. Opening drive fake punt. They got it. That had the total feel of something that was scripted during the entire week leading up to the game. They made that decision probably on Tuesday. First drive of the game, if we don't get it, we're going to fake it, and it pays off in a big way. Flushed out right. He's going deep for Brown. So they took a shot on first down but couldn't connect. I'm going to need some help with this one. How did he miss him? Wide open in the end zone. He's not hurried. He's not hit. And somehow... Incomplete? Yeah. What happened? During right, film study, that's one where he's just going to shake his head, not be able to believe it. Six points go by the wayside. Up. And it's caught. It's Brown. Touchdown, Steelers. Antonio Brown, 34 yards. And the Steelers have taken a first quarter lead. And partner, they found a gap there on the post pattern, and it was in the middle third of the field. And that's really difficult to do because ordinarily the safeties are back there to prevent that happening, but they found the opening and exploited it. Boswell good with the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. Boswell on now to kick this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. So out come the Cardinals now for their opening drive. We take a peek at Sam Bradford, the quarterback, in his first season with the Cardinals, ninth overall in the NFL. And getting another fresh start, this time in Arizona. But it'd be interesting to see how people in the building, how people in the organization view this season for Sam Bradford. Is he a bridge? to Josh Rosen, who they drafted in the first round? Or will he become their legitimate starting quarterback as they try and challenge for a playoff spot? When he's on his game, 
There's nobody more accurate in the league throwing the football. They're throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. And this offense on your screen, one of the guys who knows how to win football games, Larry Fitzgerald. Plenty of athleticism, but plays the game with incredible intelligence. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. A second down throw for Bradford. Under a heavy rush and down he goes. Stefan it, the former Notre Dame man. In there to get him for a loss of five. Okay, you know my bias is about to come out here. A lot of people think that the offense is just moving in the wrong direction. I'd say they're moving in the right direction because the defense is pushing them back. Former defensive guy. Now it's a quarterback. Ready to go now in the second quarter. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis. It's the Cardinals in possession of the football. They do, however, have a tough third and long coming up. From the shotgun, it's Bradford. And some room to work. And he slides to avoid the hit. That one good for 10 yards. And that's going to bring up the fourth down. On fourth down, here's Andy Leon to kick it away. Back deep for the Steelers, Antonio Brown. Now Brown. Fights loose. A good return there, call it 13 yards. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. And now out come the Steelers. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7 0 lead. Of course they would. I and mean, look, they're on the road. So getting the 7 0 lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. It'd be ideal. They'll find Juju Smith Schuster. And they're going to get this one all the way out across the 45. A good pick up there, a 22. They'll throw on first down with Roethlisberger. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. The passing game in rhythm right now for Pittsburgh. There's another first down. On first and 10, it's Roethlisberger. Man open left side is Brown. Another nice gain, 16 yards there, and a first down again. Escaping the pressure right. And that is incomplete. Stopping the clock with five seconds to go. Juju Smith-Schuster, the intended receiver. And now it's second down. And Boswell's kick is good. And the lead moves to 10-zip. So they get the three, increase their lead to close out the half. Excellent way to end a drive. Go into the locker room with a little bit of extra momentum after adding three to their total. And the Cardinals' hands team able to secure the football. So we've reached halftime here with the visiting Steelers out in front. As now we send you out to Orlando and hook back up with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everybody, to our abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one has been a hard-hitting affair to this point, and you got to expect we'll see more of the same in the second half. And to bring the action your way, let's get it right back out to Brandon God. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. 
So here's the Cardinals offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. They come out here with a zero on the scoreboard. What was said in that locker room? That's what I want to know. I would love to have been in there because we often have the feeling that there's a lot of shouting. And the Steeler pressure too much here. He's going to go down. Javon Hargrave busting through to get him for a loss of six. And they weren't in zone coverage. They were in man, and each man did his job. And that looked like vintage, old-school coverage, didn't it? Man coverage reminded me of an old Raiders team. They had a Hall of Famer at one corner and a defensive player of the year at the other, and they just locked people down. Well, they get 16 out of that one, but they'll still need to convert on third. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. Here's Bradford. Down the numbers. There he goes. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six for a Steeler touchdown. So a dangerous pass over the middle into zone coverage, and it bit him hard. And what's really difficult when you throw it in that direction and versus that zone, that means the linebackers have gotten to their spot, gotten their heads back around, and they can see the quarterback and everything in front of them. And they took big advantage of it, went the other direction. Excellent blocking and picked up a touchdown. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. Here we go. Stop right there. Stop right there. Here's another of the Cardinal backs. This is David Johnson. And he'll get this one up to the 26. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Defenses always talk about earning the right to rush the passer on third down. And you know what offenses want? Win first down so they can set things up for themselves better. And that wasn't helpful there. Not a big impact on first down. And he powers his way up past the 30. There to stop him, Terrell Edmonds. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to him back. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Welcome back to the desert. We're in Glendale. It's Cardinal football, but they trail here as we get set to bring you the fourth and final quarter. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. From the gun, Bradford. And the pressure gets to Bradford, and down he goes. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. Desperation time. Bradford on fourth down. And this is incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Steelers, they're going to take over an excellent field position. So they tried to go for it for pride, but it really wouldn't have mattered. This one, it was already determined. No doubt about it. This one was over a while ago. Oh, Roethlisberger going to throw. Keeps himself upright. But in the end, the pressure too great, and he goes down. Corey Peters able to swap him from that defensive tackle spot for a loss of five. On second down, here's Roethlisberger. And the pressure gets to him again. Dayon Buchanan in there to drop him, and sacks on first and second downs are going to lead to a third and long. So when you have good field position to start a drive and you give up back-to-back -back sacks, that can be demoralizing for a team. Here's Roethlisberger to throw, eluding the pressure right. And it's going to be incomplete. He was able to catch it there on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. And it's going to bring up fourth down. 
even though that one was incomplete, you could see the training that went into that play. He gets out of the pocket, ends up moving to his right. All he's trying to do, though, extend the life of the play, keep it alive, hoping someone would pop free. Was able to take it. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. As his guys are in for six, and the Steelers are going to add on to their lead. And to me, that touchdown allows you to start grinning widely on your sideline. I think they pretty much locked this one away. Yeah, that's the clincher, the proverbial icing on the cake, if you will. Roethlisberger, oh, no. Under pressure now, and he's going to go down. Sack back around the eight. Well, they tried to get two and ended up getting none because the quarterback had nowhere to go with the ball and ends up getting sacked. Nowhere to go at all. Great job, though, defensively. They were ready. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Cardinal offense here ready to take over. They're down big here late. I, I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride? Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge, and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Is he out of here? And he is going to be wrapped up and slung to the turf. Bud Dupree in there to drop him, and it'll be a loss of about eight. A play fake. Bradford. Now the pressure comes and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll step it with 27 seconds showing on the clock. Third and long for Bradford. And he's going to go down right near the goal line. The officials look at each other. They're going to mark him at the one-yard line. Here's Andy Lee now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Now the Steelers put a stop to the action with a timeout defensively. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. So a short drop, but he's able to get it out, and this is a good kick. With it is Brown. Brown with his stick skills. Well, he wasn't too far from breaking that. Officially, give him 15. And control of the football, switching hands here with very little time remaining in this contest. Roethlisberger going to throw it. Throw left side, complete to Smith-Schuster. And he'll be taken down, but not before getting this inside the 30. The storyline of this one, Charles, no doubt the number zero. Zilch, nada. A shutout so hard to do in the NFL. It really is, and what an accomplishment, because you feel that not just on the defensive side, but as a full team, there's a lot of pride that goes into shutting out an opponent. And how about that zero on the scoreboard for them going along with those zeros in the time column, too?